Poe and Ray, it's been I think two weeks now since you've bought and I'm catching up with you finally. It's like my second home here in Pretoria. Yeah. Um, how are you feeling from this fight? I'm feeling um, very good. Um, I really enjoyed the performance that I put on um, what's last week Saturday. Um, it was a good for me to make my return back to boxing and um, yeah, I was really happy. I'm just ready to go, and, to go again hopefully in December. How did it feel going back in the ring after about two years? I mean, you, you, you took two rounds in the ring to take care of business, but did it feel cool? Um, yeah, so I mean, I took the, the fights on short notice, so I just came there to do my job. Um, I would have liked the fight to go on a bit longer because I was just like stepping into new gears, um, getting comfortable. Um, I felt a bit, the first round, I felt a bit like I was trying to bomb him out, I was feeling tense, so it did feel a bit weird, but then obviously as the second round came, I started to flow a bit, got some instructions from Seb in the, after the first round. Yeah, I was feeling comfortable and then I just caught him and then that was the end of the night. Tell us about super middleweight, how did it feel boxing at that weight? Um, I'm enjoying it a lot more. Um, I don't have to cut so much weight. I mean, I'm walking around one kilo above my weight division now. So, yeah, in the fights, I felt a lot more relaxed. Um, yeah, I feel like I felt like I could breathe better. I felt, I felt strong. It's a lot stronger in there. And I felt like I could, the guys are a little bit slower. So I could, my timing was a little bit more there. Um, I could move a bit better. Yeah, I'm really enjoying super middleweight. I don't know if I'll go back down, but we'll have to see. Well, you, you started off as a southpaw. You finished the fight as an orthodox. <laughs> Talk to us a bit more about that. Yeah, so um, obviously at the beginning my natural stance is southpaw, but we've been working on orthodox for now about two years. I'm actually a right-handed person, so I can box both ways and I like to mix it up. But that's why I wanted to try different, a few different things in the fight. That's why um, yeah, I try to close the distance in southpaw. I use a bit of range and then yeah, um, I saw there was a bit of weakness, so I changed to orthodox and I could, I could just slip these punches a little better and dig the body and that's what I was doing. But I felt very comfortable in both stances. The other thing as well I noticed is that you went for his body early. I mean, I don't know if it was a premeditated thing, if that was the game plan or you came in there and saw something, but you really put an assault on him with regards to that. I think it slowed him down quite a bit. What's your take on that? I think it wasn't part of the game plan. I think it was just a day before we were like, no, let's, let's go for the body shots because we've been working on it. So we're like, let's use it in this fight. Also, the guys are a lot bigger in this weight division. So, um, you know, there's more body to hit, you know. Sometimes the guys just close up like this, so then you've got to dig the body. And I noticed once I started hitting his body, he started dropping his hands. And I could move around him a bit better. And then, yeah, then I caught him up top eventually. How was the bubble? I mean, we got a week there, you got to stay and like sort of relax and focus. Uh, how was it for you? The bubble was actually quite nice. It wasn't, I thought it was going to be way more hectic than what it was. Um, but it gave us fighters, because, I mean, yeah, it gave us fighters like a time to really focus on the fight. And we were well looked after at Empress Palace. Uh, we were with our team, with Coach, with Chapelani. Yeah, so I really enjoyed it. We got like, the hospitality was amazing. And yeah, so we just, we trained in the mornings. Uh, we did some mental drills in the afternoon and then just really just focused up until the fight came. And yeah, I, I really enjoyed the bubble and I would do it again. Boxing with no crowd, I mean, you got to hear every single punch you landed, I'm pretty sure. And yeah. you got to watch the boxing and hear all the other punches. How was that? I must say I really enjoyed it. Um, I don't know which one I prefer more, where the crowd or no crowd. The crowd's nice because I mean, obviously you have your fan, like the people who support you, and you can hear the roaring of the crowd. But with no crowd, it's also nice because you can be laser shot focused. You can hear your opponent breathing. You can hear your shots. Um, you know, there's small little things that you can you can take. Like there's a lot of pros. Um, yeah, you, know, you can hear when he's about to throw a shot. You can hear his breathing a bit better. You can hear your uh, your coaches talking to you. I mean, at one stage, even in the, in the fast, but yeah, Brian Mitchell commentating on the, I mean, that's a quiet is isn't there? So, yeah, just for me, I could focus a lot better in the fight. But I'm looking forward to crowds coming back as well. Of course. Uh, did you get any advice from Brian while he was commentating? Did, did he say something and you're like, oh, that sounds like a good idea? <laughs> he did say something. He said, I must keep my hands up. And then I, then I heard him. But then I dropped my hands and I slipped the shot. <laughs> and I caught him over with the right hand. And that was it. All right, I'm going to switch over to the next phase of your career because we're talking about what's next now. Um, the last fight was a good comeback and it's now in the past. You've got some time to digest it. A call out got made to you. Uh, I think you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Alan Sawil posted that he wants Frank Rodriguez uh, to fight you next. And uh, I want to know if that's the fight that you want next. Me as a fighter, I would love that fight. Um, Frank Rodriguez, I respect him as a fighter. You know, he's a, he's a, he's a very tough come forward I see him as a bit of a brawler, and I think that would be a good fight for me. 
Um, I heard that there might be a rumor that it might be for a Gauteng title. Um, yeah, so we haven't gone 10 rounds yet, but for me personally, I would love that opportunity if Golden Gloves would have make that happen. But yeah, it all comes down to what Coach Sebastian Rothman has planned for me. You know, he's got a route planned out for me. Me as a fighter, I almost take any opportunities at the moment. But yeah, he's got my best interest at heart. And um, I'll, personally, I would love the Frank Rodriguez fight. It'll, I think it'll go a bit longer than two rounds and I can really step into different gears and show, show what I'm cap capable of doing in a fight. Let's analyze that fight real quickly. Let's assume it's going to happen in the future. It's, just like, it's two southpaws. He's a very aggressive southpaw. You're more of a counter puncher, more oct um, calculated approach. That fight, how do you see it playing out? Um, how I see that fight, you know, all fights are different. Um, honestly, I think he's going to come out swinging, but I don't think he's going to take a lot of risks um, with me because I'm a very calculated and a, like a sharp shooter. But if he wants to rough it up, we can rough it up. I can also, you know, go for it. Um, as we saw last weekend, like Karabo pushed me back, so then I, I also wanted to mix it up a bit. Um, that's what people, that's what the fans like to see. They like to see sometimes a rough, tough fight. And, um, but I think he'll come out shooting, throwing bombs, and I think I'll slip, all his, I think I'll slip a lot of his shots and catch him, catch him and put him out, to be honest. That's my opinion. But he is a very tough fighter, and I would look forward, for that, look forward to a fight like that as well. Mentally going forward now, do you feel like, yes, I've got the win, I can now go forward and progress? Or was the result very important to you uh, in order for you to like, continue boxing or was boxing now like, to the end now? Um, so obviously, you know, for me, boxing is about, it's also becoming a champion and going to see how far you can push yourself. But for me, it's all about becoming the best version of yourself. Um, for me, this, this last fight last weekend was also like very sentimental to me from what I come back from. So it was a lot of things like playing in my mind, like have I still got it, you know, and, like there was a lot of things in your mind, you know, like people are all watching, can you come back from what you come back from, you know, so it was a lot of like little demons I was fighting mentally, but um, I overcame that. And yeah, for me, it's just about becoming the best version of yourself now. And yeah, I want to get the, the tougher opponents and see how far I can go. I do believe I've got what it takes to go far in, the, in this game. And yeah, and I'm just looking forward to the next, the next challenge for me and overcoming that. Does it help you when you were in the bubble and you got someone like Jabalani McKenzie, who's like an undefeated champion, you're also undefeated, but you know, he's also like, I think he's won 10-0 now. Yeah. He's a proven guy. Did it help having him around? Absolutely. Me and Jabulani are like brothers. Um, I mean, he's been there with me from day one. We've been together. We, I mean, we have like a lot of chats together. And yeah, he's like, he's like family to me. So, and also what he's, he's accomplished in boxing so far. I mean, it's a real motivation for me and other fighters in our gym, actually. So seeing him win all these titles and doing so well, and I mean, how he carries himself as a person, you know, motivates you as a, as a fighter as well. And um, you know, it's also always there to chat to you and yeah, he motivates you. So for me, it was really enjoyable um, fighting alongside my brother. Yeah. So ideally, I know Sebastian Rothman's got the final say and you know, he's talking about your future and, and so forth, but when would you like to get back in there? Hopefully December. Um, just waiting for hopefully that Golden Gloves will give me the call and give me an opponent. But um, yeah, in my mind, I'm, I'm already preparing for December. So if I get the call, I'm ready to go. All right, and um, just lastly, do you have a shout out for anybody? Yeah, just um, a big shout out to you, Hayden, for um, always doing such great interviews and um, getting us noticed out there on social media. And yeah, to my family, my friends, and everyone that just supports you on this journey. Um, I really appreciate you all. Yeah.